Hi, Paul Thompson from Twang Tuition here. A very warm welcome to you all. Thanks again for tuning into this week's tutorial. Um, and today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on an acoustic version of the Foo Fighters classic Everlong. It's one of those songs that really transfers great onto acoustic. In fact, um, I, I do prefer it to the electric version, uh, as good as that is. Um, it's, in, it's in drop D, so you need to drop down your uh, bottom E string to, to the D note um, to give you the open D. Um, trickiest part, I think, is the rhythm at the beginning. You've got to get that absolute syncopated rhythm at the beginning. It's quite tricky. Persevere with it. I'm going to break it down, um, slow it, play it nice and slow to begin with, and then gradually speed it up in the in the rhythm that um, I'm uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, and without further ado, here is the acoustic version of Everlong by the Foo Fighters. Okay, off we go with the intro and the and the verse parts. Then they're both the same. First things first need to drop that sixth string down to uh, down to a D. So we've got the full open open D tuning. Uh, I'll play the I'll play the rhythm first of all at at normal tempo and then I'm going to slow it right down and break it break it down. So here we go first part. Okay, very, very much of a syncopated rhythm. The first part is the trickiest part of a D major seven chord to a B, a B sus two. Um, so it's nice and slow. Now the, the, the secret here is getting the rhythm exact, nice and slow, a really slow pace, and slow pace, and then gradually, gradually speeding it up. So here we go. Just watch carefully the rhythm parts of my right hand. Here we go. Okay, and once again. Okay, that's a, that's a tricky part. The next the next chord, which is a, a G sus two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And a bit more of an even, even rhythm there, and it's this, it's the same on both cards. Got one bar on the uh, on the G sus two, two bars back on the B sus two. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, four and and then back straight into the D major seven. And that covers the the intro and the and the verse parts. Okay, so on with the octaves. Uh, the the should we call it the pre-chorus, uh, which are played uh, as as octaves, pedaling on that on that on that um, open open D, uh, that bottom sixth string as uh, as the D note. Okay, and we're going position wise. We're going fourth and sixth fret. I play this with my first and and, and little finger. Some people I know prefer to play with the first and third. Uh, either 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 or is good. So fir first position, fourth and sixth fret, fifth and third strings respectively. Move up a semitone, fifth and seventh fret. Moving up a tone to the uh, seventh and ninth fret. Another tone to the ninth and the eleventh fret. And then we've got a quick little movement from the 12th and the 10th, okay, which I'll, I'll demonstrate in normal speed in, in a sec. <clears throat> so, um, and then we then we're moving straight to a <clears throat> an an, uh, an A5 chord there. Uh, so I'll play it now. I said normal speed, and I'll slow it down. So 
twice through in the same pattern. Now, um, there's three strums on each of those. It's kind of pushing ahead in front of the, the bar change. So what we don't want is, is, is equal four strums. So, so it's not one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And it's not that, it's pushing in front on, on, the, on the last quaver. Okay, so nice and slowly. And then a quick little movement down to the um, down to the F5 twice through. Okay, third time. Go up to a B5. I'm barring those three bottom three strings there. Down to a G5, to the D5. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the tabs suggest going to the, the open E chord there. I prefer to play as the D5 there. Okay, so. <clears throat> Back to the B5 again. G, D, B, G5, D, A. Now on this last chord, I'm playing a little uh, D5 power chord on the um, <clears throat> on the third and the second string there, respectively. Uh, and four times on that on that strum. <clears throat> so slowly then. So we've got B five, G five, D five, B five, G five, D again. Last time to D, A five. G5 with me full, with me uh, D shape power chord there. And then back into the. Back into the verse. And that's pretty much the arrangement for the song. Well, there we have it. Many thanks for joining me. I hope you get on okay with the song. Uh, don't forget, it'd be great if you'd sub subscribe to the channel for weekly updates. Uh, get your requests in. Uh, anything guitar technique-wise or song-wise, I'm happy to cover on here. Um, and if you're new to guitar, then check out our 26 lesson online beginners guitar course. The website is on here. Check, check through the course. It breaks the whole course down so you know exactly what you're doing. It covers all the elements to, uh, to, to playing guitar, whether it's acoustic or electric. Uh, solo, riffs, chord, rhythms, uh, improvisation, um, everything's, everything's there covered. A little bit of theory as well, so you, so you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, which is most important. So check that out. Follow us on social media uh, as well, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the rest of it. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me once again. I look forward to seeing you next week.